Hello my friends, I am Sarah. Welcome to Grace in My Space. Today I have a really fun video in store for you. I say that about every video, but I mean it every time. A couple of weeks ago, I walked you through my home and I talked about 16 different ways to make your home feel decorated all the time, even when you haven't done intentional styling recently. And so today I wanna to transition to bedrooms specifically, talking about a very similar concept. So today we're gonna to go on a fun little tour of the bedrooms in my home and I'm gonna walk you through specifically what I've done in each space to make it feel decorated and styled on a daily basis even though I literally never change our bedrooms at all. Except for maybe new bedding every now and then, which is one of my tips. So let's get to it. Tip number one, there is nothing like freshly washed bedding. Now I am really grateful to Brooklinen for sponsoring this video. I'm gonna be sharing my favorite bedding from them, but also some tips on elevating your bedding in really simple ways, starting with linen. Have you ever had a set of sheets that tells you which is the short and long side? Because it's a game changer. Now I love the really cozy, soft, lived in look of linen. It is very, very organic. And one tip I have, I'll get there in just a minute. Our mattress is so heavy. Now this is not just a tip for linen, but for all bedding. If you are washing, this is freshly washed bedding. I love freshly washed bedding. Then um, take it out of the dryer when it's just barely damp. I'm not talking wet. You don't wanna sleep on wet sheets. But if you pull it out when it's just barely wet, then let it dry on your bed. It makes it so much easier to care for the wrinkles. Now linen is known for its carefree look, so it doesn't bother me at all if there are wrinkles, but it's a really easy way to avoid them in the first place. Now, brick linen bedding has been a favorite of mine for a long time. What I specifically love about their linen collection is how comfortable and soft and cool it is to sleep in. And so this year I invested in a duvet cover as well. The sheets have been a favorite for a long time and now I'm adding another level. So one tip that I have is to double up your comforters. That gives you a really plush look really full and thick and cozy, especially for the winter time, but linen works well in the summer too. You just have to adjust the weight of the duvet insert that you use. And so I really like Brooklinen's packaging. Isn't it pretty? I mean, it's just pretty. I appreciate pretty things. So I invested in two different duvet covers and I wanna show you what it does when you double them up like that. This one is just your basic white, which is perfect to use with every single type of bedding you have. It doesn't matter what color your walls are, it doesn't matter what color your sheets are, it doesn't matter what color your rugs are. If you have a white duvet cover, it is the foundation of any bed because it goes with everything. You wanna see a really easy way to put on a duvet cover instead of doing like a wrestling match inside your bedding? I'm gonna show you a trick. Undo your buttons and turn your duvet cover inside out. Once you've done that, spread it back out on your bed like it's going to be placed when you're done. Then put your insert on top of it and tie all of your corners to the cover. All right, are you ready for this? Start rolling. Take your cover with it. We're just gonna roll all the way down. Now when you get to the end, find your duvet cover opening, like so. And you're gonna shove the entire set inside of it. My hand is stuck, hold on. Okay, there we go. 
I'm going to do the same thing the whole way down. I'm just going to make a little comforter burrito, okay? Now I've got my burrito. Now we're going to unfold it and it's going to be inside of here. I've been doing this for years and I still don't understand why it works. I just know that it does. And voila, button up your bottom, it's in. I go back into the bottom corners and just make sure that they're pushed real tight out into those edges and then button it back up. Now I have chosen a hardcore bundle which saves you 25% versus purchasing all of the pieces separately. This comes with the core sheet set, which includes one flat sheet, one fitted sheet, and two pillowcases, a duvet cover, and two extra pillowcases. But the great thing is that you can customize all of the colors. So if you want a different color sheet set than your duvet cover, than your extra pillowcases, you can get a different color for every piece. I have the white sheets, obviously a white duvet, but I went with the khaki for the extra pillowcases and I ordered that second duvet, which is coming in terracotta next. And look, fills all the way to the next side over. Wonderful. I love how true to size all of their bedding is. A lot of times you'll find duvet covers and such that don't fill out with the duvet in them. This goes from corner to corner. It's like a fluffy cloud. <sighs> the best. Now I'm just gonna do a light steaming for some of the lines, but if you are looking for really quality bedding, highly recommend Brooklinen. It's beautiful bedding without all the markups that you see on luxury bedding. Now you can already save 25% with their bundle pricing, but we have the President's Day sale coming up for Brooklyn and as well, February 15th through 23rd this year, which will get you an additional 15% off of Brooklyn and products. There's no better time to step up your comfort, wrap up in Brooklyn signature sheets, and see exactly what those 100K five-star reviews are all about. Now let me show you that quick tip I was talking about on how to use two duvets to make your bedding look extra cozy. It's all about the layering. So you can see my first comforter that I put on in the beginning is down lower than the second comforter. Also, your inserts matter. Brooklinen has different weight inserts for your duvets, which is wonderful for not only summer versus winter sleeping, but also when you're layering, you can do one lightweight and then one heavy weight, and that way you're not too hot or too cold. So this is step one. As you can see, I've just folded down the top one to about right there. Next step, take your underside, fold that right about a third over this one, and literally you're done. I told you it was easy. A lot of people have a pillow preference. I really don't actually make my bed so often, which is why I love the look of linen, because it just is so cozy and organic and like, calls to be messy. And so this is all that I would do on a daily basis. Now, if I were going to style it, I would add lots more pillows. I might even add another throw blanket, but for a daily look, this is so cozy and simple. Welcome to my daughter's room, complete with your very large collection of Squishmallows. This is the first room that I remodeled when we moved into this house five years ago. Why I started with her bedroom, I don't really know. It just kind of seemed like something I really wanted to do for both my kids, just to create a space that they felt like at home right away when we moved in here. And since I remodeled it five years ago, the only thing that I have changed in this space is painting these lower walls. I mean, besides the ever revolving stuffed animal collection, that's all I changed. And that is because I did this really fun pattern on the top of their walls. This is tip number two for how to design a bedroom that you don't really have to continue to update on a frequent basis. Using good pattern play is a really, really 
easy and beautiful and really fun and kind of whimsical way to make a big impact in a bedroom. You can do that through wallpaper. You can do that through area rugs. You can do that through bedding. You can do it through wall murals, through artwork. Anything that is just a really fun pattern infuses a lot of personality into a room and it is really customizable to fit your own personality or the personality of the person that you are decorating for. I chose to go with some more neutral colors, just white and then a gray pattern on top with really fun, whimsical forest. And that allows me to really easily change out any other colors that I wanted to, whether it's in the bedding or in area rugs or even the bottom half of these walls because that top portion is really neutral. So if you're designing a bedroom for somebody who has a lot of personality or really loves pattern, try out a wallpaper. Now at the beginning of this video, I showed you a different type of wallpaper, which is in my office, and that's a lot more colorful, a lot more kind of eclectic. So there's a huge variety of wallpapers that you can choose from out there right now. Now this room has peel and stick wallpaper, which I have done a full tutorial on how to install peel and stick wallpaper for you. I will link it right up here and in the description. If you are new to the process, it's much different than pasted or pre-pasted wallpaper. I find it to be easier. Most people find it to be harder. So maybe if you watch the tutorial, it will help you out. Definitely two sets of hands, even though I've done almost, yeah, I've done every single room that I've done peel and stick by myself, but two sets of hands would be great for a beginner. Also totally doable if it's just you. Now let's head to my son's room next. We'll see how it looks. Tip number three, add something built in. Now, this specific setup was custom done by the previous owners of this house. So it was already here for us. It was perfect. It was wonderful. Two loft beds elevated very high in a room with a peak ceiling, enough space to continue to have something underneath of each one of them. It's wonderful. It's also a great decor statement, design statement, specifically because not only does it serve functional purposes, but it also fills the room and allows me to do literally nothing else in this space except for, you know, clean it. Now his room is a large space, so you might not have as big of a room, but it's really easy to do built-ins of some kind in any size room, especially if you need storage. Built-in beds allows you to build storage underneath and if you don't have space for a dresser. We don't have a dresser in this room. He just has his closet and then this bed has two drawers that pull out, which is great. On this side, we have a desk for him. So creating this elevated loft gave us a ton of room underneath to get in a lot of beds, even though he's only one person. We didn't build them, we just moved in. So we are just taking advantage of the space that we have but it also just creates all this space underneath for additional seating or a lounge spot, a desk homework spot, and it works really nice because it's built in and it's just done. The one other thing I did in this space besides just painting everything, which is all that I did in this room, is add this MDF shiplap on the back underneath of the lofts and above as well. It just adds a really nice detail and is another way to include a pattern or a detail of some kind on the walls, just like I did in my daughter's bedroom. But for a person who doesn't really love pattern, doesn't really want the wallpaper look, it's just another easy way to incorporate some extra detail that looks custom. Now let's head to the guest bedroom. And now down here in the guest room, tip number four, curtains and window coverings in general make a really big and easy and affordable impact on the design of a room. So when I redid this guest bedroom down here recently, I'll pop the video up if you're interested, I showed you the difference between having one curtain panel and two and the way that you elevate your curtain rod. And so those are really, really simple ways to make your room feel dressed up. Also, I mean, you know, provides privacy, it's got a function as well. But from a design standpoint, it adds a lot of warmth, it adds a lot of luxury feel, and it makes the whole room kind of feel complete and put together. I hope that you enjoyed today's video, walking through different ways to keep your bedroom looking fresh on a daily basis without having to put a ton of regular effort into it. And I hope that you enjoyed just seeing some areas of my home that I don't share very often. 
A huge thanks to Brooklinen for sponsoring this video today. Make sure and check out in the description more details on their President's Day sale, as well as my favorite combination of bedding from Brooklinen. So soft, so wonderful, such a good night's sleep, and I hope that you enjoy it too. Thanks for watching. Make sure to hit that subscribe button, ring the bell for notifications, and I will see you next week.